Hello everybody and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2, Italy. In the last episode we began our war with Austria-Hungary to knock them out as a competitor in the, I guess, the Eastern Mediterranean. Uh, first battle did not go so well, but that was mostly due to our the very big difference uh, between our capabilities between the capabilities of our light cruisers and their light cruisers they, they had far better ones uh, so what I'm thinking is maybe we go ahead and we put on the Ninos as raiders so they'll both be raiders and then we could possibly... We've got enough that I'm good with putting on another uh, Marcella to build. So we'll have that being built. It'll be a while, but we'll just have to deal with it. But that gives us two raiders uh, working. Uh, subs uh, will have a first four done in a month. And then we have a couple more months and then we'll have another couple being done so yeah I think that's good um, there's not much else we can really do so we're just gonna have to go to the next turn hopefully we can get a fleet battle if we can get a fleet battle I think we can win because right now we have 11 battleships in service they have seven we are far heavier tonned than they are our guns are better uh, yeah I think I think we're better off in terms of if we go into a fleet battle. Also, we have far more destroyers at our disposal. So I'm thinking, yeah. I'm thinking we've, we've got this if we can get a fleet battle going. And if we can destroy their main battle fleet, then we can start focusing on planning an invasion. And going for uh, Del... <sighs> I don't know how to... I, not, I don't even want to try it because I know I'm going to fuck it up. I don't even want to try it because I know I'm going to fuck it up. Uh, either way. Let's go to the next turn. Let's see what happens in terms of fighting. Okay, we increased our dock size by 500 tons. That's good. It's four new subs in the Navy. Got some better torpedoes. Nice. So, subs didn't do anything. They have negative one subs. Uh, and they sank two merchant ships with one of their light cruisers. Okay, enemy coastal raid. All right. What do we have? A couple of heavy cruisers. And a light cruiser with destroyers. Okay, they should have a raid target, which should be this one. Yes, because it has no guns, so that will be their target. Installation 4. For all we know, that could be... Well, actually, we don't know what it could be, but it... It might be something important. Let's see what we got. Keep it normal speed for a bit until we possibly get a, a reading. Okay, where you at? What was that? Uh, destroyer division. So we got a couple of... We got a merchant there. Destroyers there. We want to keep merchants alive, by the way, because we get bonuses for the uh, surviving merchants. Oh, there's one of our subs. One of our uh, coastal subs. Which, by the way, coastal subs would be perfect for this war, because, I mean, we're just in the Adriatic. So, got this whole beautiful sea... Uh, like, uh, uh, coastline to, to raid... I'm supposing there's, like, active land fighting going on right here on our border. I hope the army's doing well. Keep going for five-minute intervals. Let's see what we see. Haven't gotten any reports of enemy movements. So I'm not sure where they are. Unknown ship spotted. There we go. Long range. Okay, they're moving north a little bit. Uh, 
What do we got? Okay, let's go to Squadron Max. Max for the Marcella. Okay, you are a light cruiser. Of some description. Okay, <clears throat> our friend. Okay, eight six-inch guns, two-inch belt armor, 22 knot max speed. Marcella has got ten five-inch guns, and two of them are inside of uh, uh, turrets. So that's not bad. Two and a half inch belt. We have a 23 knot max speed. And we should be able to get through their belt. At close range. They do have bigger guns than us. But I think our guns are probably better. Because our five inchers are, are more advanced. That's not a battleship. That is... This, uh, Schwarz... Uh, what is that? The, the Schwarz Zinzigberg... I'm not... I can barely speak English, so... <laughs> I don't know if that's even close. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like a similar force. Okay. Let's go ahead and get perpendicular. Start uh, putting some shots into them. It's a near miss by them. I'm gonna draw their main force into a fight. Try to, at least. Fucking destroyers are not helping. Hoping we can get our two heavy cruisers, which have, uh... Both have, I think these are 10 inchers? Yeah, 10 inch guns, so... They can get through five and a half, or, well, five and a bit, uh, deck... Uh, or five and, a, bleh, five and a bit belt armor at close range. At long range, they can get through three, so they should be able to chew up the light, uh, cruisers, uh, pretty easily. They got a six inch belt... They're fast-ish for starting ships. Let's see what you are. Two nine-inchers, so it's not as good, and they have less armor. And they're just as fast. So, yeah, I think we might be able to use that to our advantage. Thing is, we've got to actually get there. So I'm thinking the Marcella makes a hard turn, doubles back. Sucks the, the Zinta into a fight, and we try and uh, cut off the force with our two heavy cruisers and destroyers. They'll be seeing us pretty soon. Yeah, light cruiser pulled out. So now that we've made a line, we'll start getting back into an actual combat line. Pull in the Marcella right behind. Marco Polo. Go to a 20 knot speed. Pull her in. Okay. Actually, we'll go to a squadron max. We'll go this direction. We're going to try and... Do a little bit of like a... What's the word for it? Uh, kind of corralling them in. Threatening one of their sides so they have to force into a, into our heavier line here. Now, they are not necessarily crossing our T right now. I think both guns are on us. Uh, well, we only have one gun on them. Uh, but what we're going to do is instead of targeting the... Uh, the... Uh, what is it? The Schwiswerzenberg? Uh, the Berg. We're going to go for the Zenta. Because uh, the Zenta we can kill, and I want to focus and kill that. Because they do have an advantage in light cruisers right now. As well as as well as in heavy cruisers, I think. I'd have to double check the Almanac. So we're going that. Okay, so you should start making headway against our main line. But it is within range. Should be targeting... The Zenta. Come on. We are forcing them away from their target, which is here. We'll have to double back if we lose sight of both of the forces. I'm going to try and entice these guys 
to come on back with a light cruiser that's an easy picking for him. Okay, that is not going to work, so we're going to take a hard turn. Okay, we're no longer targeting or firing on them. They are definitely scattering. I think they're going for Zara, and they're going down here. I might try and reconnect, like go through these islands and reconnect up north here. Do you like keeping their formations together? I've noticed. Okay, destroyer division has misunderstood signals, so they're not going to follow orders for a while. We weren't giving them orders, so they'll come back into line at some point. Would like to try and force them. So let's go ahead and get you over there. Just start letting you run for a while. Even if we could just destroy one ship here, I'll be good with that. And we did just open fire. Okay. They have engaged, so now we will go into an evasive action. Turn back around. We are opening fire. Damn it. Stay up there for a little bit longer, Marcella. Keep the line of sight on them just a little bit. No, they're going to turn around. Nope, we lost them. I don't think we're going to catch them again. Go fast just to make it go a little quicker here. We're going to move up over here just to see what we see. Go to a cruise speed. Go down, see if anything pops out at us. Keep patrol on their ports, I guess, is what we could be justifying here. Go to Ultra. All right, double back to our original target and just kind of do a patrol around here. We did chase off the attack, so we'll keep that and hopefully some merchants. Okay, they put everybody back up in a port. So we got a minor victory for that. We did damage one of their light cruisers. We Everything was survived and they failed their, their bombardment, so that's good. Yeah, not bad. Leave the scenario. We got a minor victory. Okay. Still have this heavy cruiser on the waking up, along with the second Marcella light cruiser. Things will still take a while to build. I just want to double check here. Uh, in terms of light cruisers, we're equal. But half of ours are on raiding. And they have an advantage in heavy cruisers as well. So we want to destroy their cruiser force as much as possible. And we are continually making submarines. We should have quite a few more in two months. We are blockading them, I think is what that means. That B, because we have more forces in the area. Don't see them having... They've got a couple of cruisers out this way. A squadron. And another squadron there. Looks to be far more than they should have in terms of heavy cruisers. That's that's already what? That's... Uh, so that's six, seven... Eight, nine. Do they have nine heavy cruisers? They have nine heavy cruisers. Okay. Well, at least they're spreading them out. That gives us an advantage. Because we're concentrating everything in the Mediterranean. 
And we did lose one destroyer. Which I do not like that we lost. But either way, let's go to the next turn and see what happens. Okay, light cruiser finished her working up. That's good. Same thing with a heavy cruiser. Uh, they're close to mastering side drums. Uh, subs there. Patrolling ship light cruisers thwarts the, Austri uh, the Austrian raider light cruiser Zentra. Attack merchant shipping. Okay, so nothing for raiding that turn. We're pretty evenly matched there. Convoy defense. Large battle. We outnumber them. They decline battle. Okay, cruiser action. They outnumber us in... Nope. We outnumber them here now. Uh, but this information is not necessarily 100%. So we're going to go ahead and... Accept. They decline battle. Convoy defense. Large. Okay. We'll accept. They decline battle. Okay. Looks like we thoroughly do have them uh, held up. Uh, and again, yeah, we're blockading the enemy. There we go. That's what that B stands for. So they're not blockading us, we're blockading them. Uh, I've invented the reliable pendulum mechanism, so their torpedoes are just as good as ours now. They laid down an AMC. All right. About what we expected. One more month for a couple more subs to come out. We have anybody else still repairing or on their waking up? So we got a destroyer that still needs to repair for two more months. Oh, you're not reserved, you're raiding. Okay, good. Uh, I got the R mixed up. Uh, Alright. That's good. Let's go to the next turn. Because we are almost beating them in victory points. Again, I want to try and force a... large naval battle. A decisive naval engagement. Next turn. Okay, ten new subs. Uh, major ship, you're shorter in orders. They're offering to build another Macella class in 21 months for a 10% discount. We'll take that offer. Yeah, we'll go ahead with that. The Prime Minister is considering sending out feelers for peace negotiations. He wants to hear. I cannot show weakness now. Peace negotiations are out of the question. Uh, we don't have anything without land. No, we need to keep going. Side drums? Okay, saving on the machinery. Uh, tantalizingly close to inventing safe fuse arming devices. Nice. 14 operational subs. The an Austrian Raider knocks out two of our, uh, ships. Cruiser battle. They got all their cruisers back. We'll accept that. Okay. Sink any two ships. So we need to sink two ships. Those couldn't be, those can be destroyers as well, so... If we have to, we will focus down destroyers. I am perfectly... I'm not above that. Let's go for five minutes, see if we spot anything. Looks to be clear. Yeah, clear day out. Have we spotted anything? Usually if you keep going on a track, you'll spot something eventually. Just outside of Albania, so we are blockading this. It does really, it is really bad for them, like in terms of trade, because we can just patrol this, and they're cut off from the outside world in terms of trade. Like we control this sea. I don't care what they say, we control it. Okay, I'm not seeing anything so far. If it really gets down to it. Start moving up along this choke point they'll have to go through. What time of day is it? Eh, we probably will get into the night. I mean, if it comes down to it, we can head up to one of their ports and see about maybe striking down a couple of transports. Ooh, we got one. Okay. I want you on max speed. I want you to catch up to your lead forces. What do we got? Okay, it's saying a battleship. Okay, heavy cruiser. Max speed. Pull out this way. Bait him into it. Our heavy cruisers are better. Ok, 
Okay, what about trying to go that direction? All right. Is that an actual battleship force or just another thing of heavy cruisers? Those are battleships. We are not forcing that action. That might be just a patrol force. Looks like it is. 20 knots there. Okay. So we are actually engaging. Go squadron max. Double back up that way. We could try and get around. Sinking two heavy cruisers would be a boon to us. We've got nine inch guns. Five and a half inch belt. Ten inch guns. Six inch belt. Might be able to break through. Do some damage to them. Cause some system damage, slow them down, let us get a shot on them with their damn, uh, with our, cr our, our torpedoes. Nope. He's pulling back. Don't see the battleships. They may have just been a patrol force, not the main force. I would love to see where our battleships are. But if we can keep the speed up, if anything, we can move up over here and just keep going towards one of our uh, coastal ports. Yeah, we need to sink two ships, and they don't have destroyers, so these are our only options. How far outside of gun range are they? Not too far, actually. What's their speed? 20 knots? So we just need to knock them down one knot and we can start gaining speed. I still don't see those battleships, so they've gone they've gone down south. Actually, with the way that they're vectored, which is they're trying to get close enough to make a shot on this light cruiser force and destroyers. They're starting to edge closer and closer to our gun range of the heavy cruisers. Okay, we might be able to wither a couple of barrages. They've only got two guns on... For, they've only got two main guns. Okay. Alright. Turning like that. We are, we're letting them cross the T. Which one did we hit? That one. If we can also knock out a turret or two, we'll be doing really well. Sorry about the little dong that happens sometimes. Okay, we got some nice hits. Some f uh, three inch guns on them, which not going to do much. But they have slowed down. Shell burst limited. Coal bunker. Okay. Get that so we get the full message. She's still doing okay. She's doing okay. Uh, oh, actually, no, this is the wrong one. This one. Took a couple medium hits, but still firing. Okay, these were by our main guns of our heavy cruisers. Okay, got an engine room hit on our light cruiser. What's its main... It's still keeping up its normal speed. Okay, superstructure hit. B. Still doing fine. What's the distance we got between them? 6,000? Need to get under 5,000, because our, if, our, if I remember our gun data correctly, 10-inch, negative 1 gun, they've got 5.5-inch belt. At 5,000, we can only get 5.1 belt, so we need to get closer than 5,000. 
It all depends on what kind of gun they have. They have nine inches, but if they're ne if they're level zero, then we're in trouble because they'll have better guns than us. Even if uh, we have larger guns, their theirs will be better. Okay, we are engaging them effectively. We have kind of hemmed them in here. If we can keep the uh, light cruisers or the light cruiser force interdicting them from their home port, we can keep them kind of corralled in here because they're trying to get up here to to run. Or they could be trying to run for their battleships, which would not be what we want. That direction. Keep us moving here. If we can get them against the land, that's what we want. I'm seeing unidentified. We got battleships. Full speed. Turn. Okay, and turn. You just gonna keep firing at us? Looks like you're trying to. Okay, they're gonna try and make a pass. <clears throat> All right. Go to a cruise speed up that way. Okay, there we go. Not decisive. Not a decisive engagement. Okay. We damaged both of their heavy cruisers. Looks like it's just a draw. They did not... We did not sink any of their ships. Yeah, damn. Yeah, battleships, for God's sakes. <clears throat> yeah, basically a draw. We did come out with a little bit more VP than them, but it was basically a pittance. Uh, they laid down some Corvettes. We got a whole bunch of new subs. That's about it. All right. Well, looking at the time, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. So thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. Hit the like button. If you want to support the channel, consider the subscribe button down below. As well as click the description down below, where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye!